Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of wind power. Um, I definitely think that there's a lot of pros to consider um, and there are some cons to keep in mind as well. So wind power is a form of renewable energy which means that um, you can't really use it up. This is in contrast to fossil fuels. So um, with fossil fuel burning, we release a lot of um, greenhouse gases, um, which is causing global warming. By using renewable energy from wind sources, um, we have a reliable um, source of energy that won't run out, and it also doesn't pollute. Um, another major benefit of wind power is that it's a domestic source of energy. So we're able to generate it here at home instead of depending on foreign countries and um, sometimes our enemies to provide us with the energy we need to do business. In addition, um, wind towers don't really take up a whole lot of room, which means that they can be integrated into farms and other croplands. In addition, they're quiet. Um, wind towers really don't make a whole lot of noise. Um, they have a low environmental impact. Um, so again, compared to fossil fuels and other things, wind power really um, is pretty beneficial or at least not negatively influencing the environment and in addition they're reliable. There's a lot of concerns about them not generating energy um, but a typical windmill um, sited in the right place is going to produce energy 98 percent of the time. Um, there are also some um, negatives or cons that we need to consider when looking at wind power. First of all is the money. Um, wind power is more expensive. Um, this is largely because fossil fuels are subsidized um, but it is more expensive at this point. Um, so that's worth keeping in mind. Secondly, I mentioned um, if you don't have wind, you don't have energy. So um, that could be a problem, mostly if a windmill is put in a, in a poor location. Um, third, some people think that windmills don't look very nice, so they'd say that they have poor aesthetics. Um, this is really a matter of taste, and it's also um, sometimes a matter of getting used to it. But that's a major complaint um, that comes down to someone's personal preferences, is how they look. Um, in addition, um, windmills in the past have been notorious for having birds collide with them. Um, a lot of those issues are starting to get sorted out, though. Um, so the issue is that you have these spinning blades, um, and a bird can fly into it and get chopped up. Um, it's worth noting, though, that even the Audubon Society um, often supports, so the Audubon Society is a, a birding club, and they often support wind power um, if it's put in the right place. So the last two issues are um, dealing with storage and costs again. Um, we really don't have a very good way to store wind power at this point, so it works when there's wind blowing, um, but there's not a good way to sort of generate a reserve um, for when the wind doesn't blow, because we, we need energy when we need it and we can't necessarily deal with outages. Um, and the last uh, major issue is that there's a large initial um, cost in, in developing wind power and wind energy. Um, so that's a major issue. This has been a brief discussion of the pros and cons of wind power, and I obviously am in favor of wind power, but there are negative aspects that we need to consider.